ആ കേസിൽ ഞാൻ പറയുകയാണെങ്കിൽ പുറത്ത് പോകുക നല്ലൊരു ഓപ്ഷൻ ചൂസ് ചെയ്യുന്നതാണ് നിങ്ങളുടെ നല്ലൊരു കരിയർ ചൂസ് ചെയ്യുന്നതാണ് നിങ്ങളുടെ മുന്നിലുള്ള ഏക ഓപ്ഷൻ നിങ്ങൾ കുറേ സ്ട്രഗിൾസ് നേരിടേണ്ടി വരും ബട്ട് സ്റ്റിൽ ഇസ് വർത്ത് വെൽക്കം ടു അതർ വീഡിയോ ഗൈസ് ടുഡേ ഐ ഹാവ് അഭി റാം വിത്ത് മീ അവർ ഫ്രണ്ട് ഫ്രോം ദ സൗത്ത് അഭി റാം came to Canada in 2018 today i'm going to ask him what his background is where did he study what did he study why did he come to canada and uh, what program did he choose when he came to canada and all these questions to address your concerns uh, for the people who want to come to canada from the south uh, because they have all those different reasons they have different bases of coming to canada from for the uh, from the people who come from the no- north so i hope you guys will watch this video to the end let's get it started abiram uh, tell me where do you belong to why uh, what did you study in india and why did you come to canada i am from the south part of india my state is called kerala after completing my btech in mechanical engineering uh, i was in a confusion to take whether go to go for a job or to uh, do some post graduate thing or like higher studies the main problem in my state is that since my i am from mechanical background uh there is like not so much scope for mechanical jobs either anyway i have to move out of my city so i thought it would be better to move to a better place which is like which having like enormous opportunities which gives me like wings to grow so when i took the list canada came to be the best one i moved to canada around like around september 2018 so abiram what program did you choose uh, when you came to canada and what college did you choose and how did you how did you decide on the college how did you find it i am a person who doesn't like city hustles uh, i just like peaceful kind of uh, you know a vibe so uh, when i look all the colleges most of them were in toronto and uh, i i also look at colleges which are like specifically giving training to industrial manufacturing So I did find a college on um, a city called Thunder Bay which is in northwestern Ontario which is kind of like a calm and quiet place and it did fit my vibe so I decided to go with uh, Confederation College uh, in Thunder Bay and the program I took was uh, industrial manufacturing process it, it was a PG diploma it right it was a PG diploma after doing that program were there enough business uh, job opportunities for students for, uh, in that field how did you find uh, that field to be so to be very honest uh, in thunder bay um, you can get different managerial jobs like uh, like a supervisor manager or any other in so many firms but uh, coming to mechanical field there there is really like very limited uh, opportunities because they have like one paper mill and like some very few industries but since it's a small city we could imagine how many opportunities it might have related to career things i would say if you are going with something technical thunder bay is not an option you have to definitely move out of the city so that's why uh, i decided to move out of thunder bay so this is a very honest opinion from uh, abiram where he said that you know you can come study in thunder bay they have a, a, a good college they have the program for industrial manufacturing but very honest opinion that if you want to find the jobs in the same line, you need to move out to the big cities because thunder bay doesn't have so uh, you know industrialized zones or warehouses or big ventures they have a lot of small businesses a lot of managerial jobs but if you want to find the job in that line you have to move to cities like toronto you know uh, big cities like edmonton surrey or uh, maybe quebec they have a lot of opportunities i know gda has a, a toronto has a lot of opportunities in that line but depends upon what you want to go for as abiram said he wanted something peaceful wanted something uh, which was not parallel with the city hustle so that's why he wanted to stay there so abiram after completing your studies when you did your, when you didn't find a job in your own line how did you decide to get pr for viewers who, who don't know pr means permanent residence so after you get the study permit done you complete your college then you apply for work permit and after work permit you apply for pr so you, that you can stay permanently in the country at that time uh, the year it was like 2020 so all, we all know it was time when covid hit us so uh, at that time i, I realized that uh in this scenario right now pr is the most important thing and for me uh, if i'm looking for a technical job then i have to definitely move out of the city then i have to start from scratch then i have to definitely like find a basic trade job like a cnc machinist or somewhere mm-hmm. else so in my case since pr was my most like now <clears throat> very important thing when i found an opportunity for becoming supervisor which could land me easily in a, easily in pr 
I thought uh, I would definitely take the chance and I got an opportunity in Kenora which is also in Ontario which is close to Manitoba border so it's a relatively smaller city than Thunder Bay but since I am from Thunder Bay and I'm used to this <laughs> loneliness and peaceful thing uh, it was okay for me I am in expression repo right now I'm just waiting for my PR invitation so it came down to preferences as uh, Abiram said during COVID I think he did the right thing here because during COVID even uh, it was very hard to find a job and uh, he went for uh, giving preference to the PR rather than finding a job in his own line this is the option Abiram had to choose what is your job now what are you doing right now can you explain that in a detail in every store there should be a supervisor leading the team so supervisor's job is to like oversee the employees, uh, make sure the food are set to standard, make sure there is no customer complaints or if there is any customer complaint we have to uh, you know resolve it. And also there is some uh, things called we can have to uh, cut down labor hours to make the company you know, go in a profitable way. Scheduling people uh, in whichever levels we could uh, possibly do. And so there's a lot of managerial things. If you're into managerial things and if you're interested in it, then definitely go for something uh, you know you actually can make a progress in. So Abiram, what advice do you have for the viewers who are in this dilemma, who are in India right now, who are thinking should they be you know immigrating to foreign countries for their higher studies or uh, you know ch uh, following up on their career? What advice do you have for them? So uh, moving abroad is like really hard. If you want to really make a progress in it, you have to really make a struggle. It should be either in uh, your field of study or uh, you know you, whatever area you're focused on. For most of the people who think like average, they should definitely you know think higher. And uh, a place like Canada is like like a developed country like Canada will offer them, will show them enormous path, and enormous opportunity to grow. It's totally worth it. Can you give this? Same piece of advice in your own language. Uh, so my language is Malayalam. On the Madagascar part, I mean, just a little, one or two things are not enough. We 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 are ഞാനിപ്പോൾ നാട്ടിലായിരുന്നെങ്കിൽ ഒരിക്കലും ഞാൻ ഈ ഒരു ലെവലിൽ എത്തത്തില്ലായിരുന്നു ഞാൻ എൻ്റെ വീട്ടിൽ നിന്ന് മാറി എനിക്ക് എൻ്റെ സ്വന്തമായിട്ടുള്ള കാര്യങ്ങൾ എടുത്ത് തീരുമാനം എടുത്ത് ആ ഒരു ലെവലിലോട്ട് പോകുമ്പോൾ മാത്രമേ എനിക്ക് ഞാൻ എന്ത് എനിക്ക് എന്തൊക്കെ ഉള്ളിൽ ഉണ്ടായിരുന്നുള്ളത് മനസ്സിലാക്കാൻ പറ്റുള്ളൂ അപ്പോൾ നാട്ടിൽ ഈ കൺഫ്യൂഷൻ ഇരിക്കുന്ന എല്ലാവരും ഒന്ന് സ്വന്തമായിട്ട് ഇറങ്ങി എന്ന് സ്വന്തമായിട്ട് ചിന്തിച്ച് നല്ലൊരു ഉയർച്ചയിലോട്ട് ആഗ്രഹിക്കുകയാണെങ്കിൽ നിങ്ങൾക്ക് പുറത്തോട്ട് വരുന്നതാണ് ഏറ്റവും നല്ല ഓപ്ഷൻ അപ്പോൾ വളർച്ച ആഗ്രഹിക്കുന്നവർ ഒരു മീഡിയം ലെവൽ തിങ്ക് ചെയ്യുന്നവരെല്ലാവരും ഒരു എക്സ് ഹയർ ഹയർ ലെവലിൽ തിങ്ക് ചെയ്യണമെങ്കിൽ നിങ്ങൾക്ക് പുറത്ത് പോകണം അല്ലെങ്കിൽ പുതിയ കാര്യങ്ങൾ എക്സ്പ്ലോർ ചെയ്യണമെങ്കിൽ നിങ്ങൾക്ക് നിങ്ങളുടെ വീട് നാടും വിട്ട് ഒരു നല്ലൊരു ഒരു ഓപ്ഷൻ ചൂസ് ചെയ്തേ പറ്റുന്നുള്ളൂ ആ കേസിൽ ഞാൻ പറയുകയാണെങ്കിൽ പുറത്ത് പോവുക നല്ലൊരു ഓപ്ഷൻ ചൂസ് ചെയ്യുന്നതാണ് നിങ്ങളുടെ നല്ലൊരു കരിയർ ചൂസ് ചെയ്യുന്നതാണ് നിങ്ങളുടെ മുന്നിലുള്ള ഏക ഓപ്ഷൻ നിങ്ങൾ കുറേ സ്ട്രഗിൾ നേരിടേണ്ടി വരും ബട്ട് സ്റ്റിൽ ഇസ് വർത്ത് സോ ഐ ഹാവ് നോ ഐഡിയ വട്ട് അബിറാം ജസ്റ്റ് സെയർ ഐ നോ ബട്ട് ഐ ട്രസ്റ്റ് ഹിം ഹി ഗേവ് യു ഗൈസ് എ ഗുഡ് അഡ്വൈസ് ആൻഡ് ഐ എം ഷുവർ ഇൻ ദ എൻഡ് ഇറ്റ്സ് ഗോയിങ് ടു ബി വർത്ത് ഇറ്റ് സോ ഗൈസ് വി ഹാവ് more people from the south in this tim horrens uh, uh so i'm going to ask you guys jiffin and abiram jiffin uh, you tell what advice do you have for people from the south who are in this situation they want to come to canada but they are confused what advice do you have pani edukkan thalpiri ullavarku varam adu kaiyittu edu category aanu ningal pani edukkunnathu chindikkade paisa vaanam enikku oru nalla oru life vaanam nalla reethiyil pani edukkiyanengil ivada subhaayittu jeevikkam അല്ലാതെ ആറ്റിറ്റ്യൂഡ് വെച്ച് ജീവിക്കാനാണെങ്കിൽ ഇവിടെ ജീവിക്കാൻ പാടാണ് നാട്ടിൽ നിന്ന് കുട്ടികൾ ഇങ്ങോട്ട് വരുന്നുണ്ടെങ്കിൽ പണിയെടുക്കാൻ നല്ല താല്പര്യമുള്ളവർ വന്നാൽ മതി അതായത് പണിയെടുക്കാൻ നല്ല മനസ്സുണ്ടെങ്കിൽ ഇവിടെ നിന്ന് നല്ലോണം പച്ച പിടിക്കാം അത്ര പറയാണ്ട് I hope you guys like the video if you have any concerns any questions any kind of comments please mention in the comment section I will myself try or Abiram will try to address your concerns I hope you guys are liking the video please keep liking commenting and most importantly keep subscribing because that's how I get the inspiration and motivation to make even more videos and bring different experiences of different inter international students to you guys who are uh, confused who are in this dilemma of should they migrate to another country for for their inter, uh, uh, higher studies or not thank you abiram and thank you guys for watching it uh, love you and bye